So now let us come to the first of the financial decision that is financing decision that is a part of financial decision, the financing decisions, financing decision means raising fund, right, raising fund through various sources. Shareholders fund, as I discussed in uh, previous uh, lecture that there are two main sources of raising funds, right, shareholders fund and the borrowers fund, right. Shareholders fund means owners fund, equity, share capital, it consists share capital, reserves, surplus and retained earnings. So, they are the part of shareholders fund. Second comes borrowers fund, it consists of issues of debentures or debentures, issue of bonds or bonds, long term loans which we are, it is kind of a borrowing which amount we are borrowing from any bank or any other financial institutions and the public deposits. So, a company can raise fund right or can make money available to the company through these two main sources. Either they can issue shares, they can issue debentures, they can take loan, they can borrow money from banks, right. They have certain reserves with them, they have sur sur surplus with them, they have retained earnings with them. So, these are the different sources through from which a company actually arranges money, right, which is to be further used for business activities. So, the financing decision is basically finding out the ratio in which the amount will be raised from all these available sources. What would be the amount which is going to be raised through all these different sources? So, we have to find out a proportion, a ratio between these two types, two major types of uh, sources of raising finance or raising fund, right. And that proportion, that ratio actually depends on the cost. So we are starting with the, the topic uh, factors affecting financing decisions and capital structure. So, there are various uh, factors which affect uh, the financing decision or you can say the capital structure of a company. The first factor is cost, fine. Generally, what is considered that uh, a good financing decision is a decision which uh, you know um, where the cost of uh, raising finance is minimum, fine. So, a financing decision which provides uh, the cost of raising finance, raising finance, uh, you know a minimum cost of raising finance, that particular decision is considered to be better or good, fine. So, the cost is a very, very important factor while making a financing decision. Cost of debt, right, cost of debt which is uh, given to the lenders, that is the interest, right. Whenever we raise fund through debt fund or you can say the borrowed fund, right, we pay interest to the lenders, fine. And the cost of equity, that is dividend right, which we generally pay to the shareholders, fine. So, cost of debt which we pay to the lenders uh, is the interest and cost of equity is the dividend which we pay to the shareholders. So, there is a cost involved in raising funds through various sources. If the rate of interest which we pay to the lenders, right, if that rate is low, fine. So, we have uh, a possibility of raising more debt funds, fine, because rate is low and we can raise more fund through the debt or through the, uh, you know, borrowed fund, we can raise more borrowed funds, fine. Then uh, debt fund, they are considered cheaper. Why they are considered cheaper? They are considered cheaper because they, they are tax deductible, right? They are tax deduct deductible. So, if we are raising fund, through borrowed fund or if we are raising debt fund, that depends on two major factors that is the rate of interest and, and uh, 
the tax deduction fine so we raise fund through borrowed fund because of lower rate of interest and it is a tax deductible source right now if a company you know a company uh, cannot uh, raise debt fund or a company cannot raise finance through borrowed fund because of a reason that uh, it cannot be you know we cannot raise a uh, fund through uh, debt or the borrowed fund because of this reason that if we increase the debt portion if we increase the debt portion you know in a capital structure what is capital structure actually that i have told you capital structure is the proportion of the ratio in which we raise fund through borrowed or the equity fund so that is the proportion that is the ratio in which we raise fund uh, raise fund through through both the sources right so if we raise fund if increases the debt portion then that eventually increases the financial risk financial risk is what financial risk is the commitment of paying back the principal amount and the interest right so if debt portion increases the financial risk increases if financial risk increases then the liability on the company to earn more profit fine that also increases fine because um if we are if we have to pay you know interest or the principal amount to the lenders then we have to have money in our hand right there should be cash inflow fine so the the need of increasing increasing more profit uh, increases right so that's why a company cannot raise fund through borrowed fund or the debt fund beyond a certain limit because ultimately what will happen that will increase the risk financial or the risk portion of the company right second point is the risk second is the risk how risk affects financing decision debt as i told you that we can raise fund through two different sources that is uh, borrowed fund and the shareholders fund or the equity fund right so generally debt fund they are considered as cheaper why cheaper because of the they are the tax deductible right and they are more risky why they are more risky they are more risky because of this factor that we are we have to pay the principal amount and the interest amount to the lenders right there is a level of commitment a high level of commitment of paying back the principal amount and the interest fine so that's why debt fund they are considered as cheaper but at the same time they are considered as risky fine so if more debt fund is used the financial risk increases fine you know if a company is raising fund through debt fund or through the shareholders fund or the equity fund then we have you know one more factor is considered one more factor is considered that you know company is uh, a business is run generally in a in a uh, there is a business environment in which a uh, company or a business run right so they have to see that what is the level of risk in the business environment because a business environment is risky uh, why it is risky you know so we have to look at the level of risk attached to the business if a business is already having a lot of uh, risk involved in terms of suppliers in terms of competitors in terms of uh, uh, product right in terms of sales in terms of growth so they have to see you know is there any possibility is there any scope of raising or you know having or taking more risk fine so if a company can afford to take more risk fine then only they will increase their debt portion otherwise they will not fine third one is the floating cost what is the floating cost floating cost is a cost generally with the cost which is incurred in raising fund in raising fund if there is a high floating cost then that particular source of finance is considered as less attractive right that is considered as less attractive for example if we are raising fund through a shareholders fund or we are issuing uh, shares and all in which you will see that there are there is a high floating cost fine there is application form 
you know uh, in that we uh, expenses are incurred right but if we are uh, raising fund through debt fund then you know we don't have to pay anything for raising fund through debt fund fine so that's why uh, raising fund through the borrowed fund that is considered as cheaper than you know raising fund through the shareholders fund fine now comes uh, the fourth point the fourth point is the cash flow position when a company decides the uh, source of finance then they consider their cash flow position that what is the cash cash flow position of the company if a company is having a strong cash flow position or right then you know a strong cash flow position ensures or confirms or, or uh, confirms paying back the debt right it confirms the uh, ability to paying back the debt right if we are uh, raising fund through the borrowed fund or the debt fund then and the company's uh, ca you know uh, cash flow position or the financial position is strong then there is a surety there is a conformity that company will be able to pay the interest amount and the uh, you know the principal amount to the they will not think twice before you know giving money to the company fine but if st uh, company doesn't have a strong uh, financial uh, position or a cash flow uh, position then such company cannot go for uh, you know raising fund through debt fund because there is no surety uh, of paying back the profits fine now the fifth one is level of fixed operating cost now what is the fixed operating cost operating cost is related to the cost which uh, incurred uh, in the day to day business fine so fixed operating cost are the cost which are not affected by the increase and decrease in the production if there is no production taking place then also such cost will incur for example uh, rent uh, salaries fine so such cost will be there if there is any production taking place or not fine so come before raising fund right or before uh, making any financing uh, uh, decision a company has to see that what is the level of their fixed operating cost if they have high fixed operating cost in their company so they cannot you know go for or they cannot afford raising fund through debt fund or the borrowed fund right because why why they cannot afford because there is a you know debt fund if a debt fund requires uh, a commitment of paying back the um, interest amount and the principal amount right whereas if a company is having a low fixed operating cost level then they can raise fund through debt fund because they don't have uh, fixed operating cost so there is a, again a conformity that they'll be able to pay back uh, the profit or you can say they can pay back the interest and the you know um, interest and the principal amount to the lenders and they will be able to provide uh, right if they they will be able to provide a dividend to their shareholders fine uh, let's come to the next topic uh, next uh, uh, factor that is a uh, tax rate so how tax rate is going to affect the financing decision or capital structure uh, as i told you that cost of debt is interest and interest is tax deductible so the tax rate basically decides that which particular source of finance we have to choose or which source of finance has to be chosen right if there is there are uh, prevailing higher tax rate then a company will definitely go for the debt fund or raising uh, fund through uh, debt fund why because debt is considered as cheaper right it is uh, explained through an example with the help of an example for example we have a, a company has borrowed 10 lakh rupees fine and they have to pay 10% interest on that fine and the tax rate which is prevailing in the market is 30% fine so effectively uh, the uh, you know the tax rate the effective tax rate is the calculation is 10% is the interest fine which company has to pay as a cost of debt or you can say the interest interest rate is 10% and 30% is the tax rate right so 10 into 30% that is 
3 percent fine 10 percent minus 3 percent that is 7 percent. So, you will see that ideally a company is paying 70,000 right instead of paying 1 lakh as interest fine. So, higher the tax rate means the debt fund or raising finance through debt fund is preferred fine. Next then come to the next uh, point or the factor that is control consideration. You know a management uh, control consideration means uh, the, uh, the level of uh, control shareholders or the owners they have in the business or on the business fine. So, management control over business. If a company prefers or decides to raise fund through equity or you know by issuing shares, then there is a chance that the management control can be diluted fine or the percentage of holding, the percentage of holding which management has you know over the business that will decrease fine. So, issuing shares or raising fund through shareholders fund that dilutes the management control. So, that is not you know raising fund through shareholders fund that is less preferred. Whereas, management control over business that is not affected by debt funds because we are not giving any share right. We are not giving any share to the lenders in the company. We just we are only liable to pay the interest amount and the principal amount to the lenders. Whereas, whereas, if we are you know raising fund through issuing shares right, then we have to give a portion right, a portion or a share to the shareholders in our company or the holding in our company fine. Then the eighth point that is stock market position. Before raising fund or before uh, deciding upon the source of finance through which the finance or the fund has to be raised, a company has to look at the stock market position. If stock market position is at boom, then you know they will be able to uh, raise fund through issuing shares and if stock market is depressed, then they will the company will go for issuing you know uh, or you know raising fund through debt funds fine. Next point is regulatory framework. Regulatory framework that uh, a, a company has to abide by the rules and regulations of SEBI. SEBI means Securities Exchange Board of India, right. So, a company has to abide by the rules and regulations uh, of SEBI uh, which provide guidelines for sh issuing shares and debentures. Whereas, a company has to abide by the rules and regulations of RBI. RBI which provides guidelines for taking any loan from banks or any other financial institutions. If such guidelines right or regulations rules and regulations if they are stringent right if they are stringent then that will discourage the borrowings and if they are lenient that will encourage the borrowing means fine. So, that will encourage the borrowings fine. Next, then come to uh, the next point that is flexibility. Flexibility, how it affects the financing decisions. You know, when a company, uh, when a com you know, uh, a company, it is decided in advance that in which proportion or in which ratio a company will raise funds through both the sources you know what will be the ratio in which a company will issue uh, you know will uh, raise fund through equity uh, through shareholders fund or through borrowed fund that particular ratio is decided in advance right. For example, the ratio is 50-50 uh, right 50-50. For example, over a period of time a company has already exhausted its debt portion right. For example, a company has decided that we will uh, raise fund 50 percent of the fund of the company will be raised through debt fund or the borrowed fund. Now, that 50 percent is be already been exhausted. Now, the company cannot raise fund through debt fund or the borrowed fund. They are left only with one option that is raising fund through shareholders fund right. So, that flexibility is 
not there. Eleventh topic of eleventh uh, topic of factors affecting financing decisions or capital structure that is return on investment, right? A return on investment means a return which we are getting uh, after investing a particular amount in the business, right? So, what affects return on investment further? The financial leverage. Financial leverage is sometimes it is you know it, uh, it's um, we call it as uh, trading on equity, right? Financial leverage sometimes we call it as uh, you know uh, trading on equity. Now, what financial leverage? is financial leverage is the proportion of debt right it is a proportion of debt in the overall capital of the firm fine that is debt upon equity the total capital the proportion of debt in the overall or, or the total capital of the company fine e trading on equity what is equity equity is the owners fund fine equity is the owners fund and trading is taking advantage of Fine. So, trading on equity implies that how a company takes an advantage of owner's fund. Fine. If there is a high return on investment, if there is a high return on investment, then the interest on borrowed fund. Fine. The interest which we are paying on the borrowed fund to the lenders, right? If our return on investment fine is higher than that interest fine then a company can go can opt for borrowed fund basically what is trading on equity we are borrowing fund or we are raising capital through borrowed fund fine why because the interest which we are paying on the borrowed fund to the lenders fine that is lesser than the return which we will have on the investment which we are making now. So, we can say then we can say that interest on borrowed fund if it is lesser than the return on investment then a company can go for can opt for raising fund through borrowed fund fine because ultimately they are going to utilize that money which they have acquired through borrowed fund in uh, you know making further investment on which the return will be higher clear so trading on equity it is an arrangement in which a firm uses borrowed funds in such a way so that rate of return on equity shares can be increased okay now there are various why uh, again why uh, uh, raising um, fund or finance through uh, borrowed fund is cheaper because of these factors I told you in the previous uh, uh, lectures also the cost of debt cost of debt is always lesser than the cost of equity the first thing that is why debt fund are cheaper second is interest which we pay uh, on a debt fund or the borrowed fund that is tax deductible fine so that is why uh, uh, debt fund they are cheaper and uh, we can uh, raise fund through borrowed fund on a very very lesser cost the cost of raising uh, debt fund is uh, less and further we can utilize those borrowed fund in uh, you know in a very good investment where the return will be higher fine that we will uh, discuss through the example there is situation one where return on investment is higher than the rate of interest and this particular situation is considered as the favorable financial leverage favorable financial leverage fine means financial favorable financial leverage ka, ka, uh, matlab kya hota hai? that are uh, you know the, the proportion of debt the proportion of debt which we have in the overall capital is you know uh, that the, the, the proportion of debt in the overall capital that is the financial leverage and this is an example where we are showing the how favorably uh, how favorable financial leverage we have in there are two situation given in this example uh, a limited and b limited two companies are given where return, return investment is higher than the rate of interest fine it means the interest which we are paying on the borrowed fund is lesser than 
the return which we are earning on the investment we have made fine so this particular situation is uh, considered as favorable for any company okay equity share capital of a limited is 10 lakh rupees whereas borrowed fund capital uh, is 20 lakh rupees at the rate of 15% interest okay 15% interest total capital with a company is 30 lakh rupees with a limited and with a b limited it is 10 lakh rupees because they didn't borrow, they, they don't have any uh, debt proportion right next uh, total is 30 lakh 10 lakh profit at 30% of return on investment now the profit which we have earned on this investment is 9 lakh rupees that is 30% right the 30 percent on this 30 lakh rupees that is 9 lakh rupees that is uh, before tax and interest the profit before tax and interest that is 9 lakh rupees now what we will do we will less we will deduct interest on borrowed fund what is the interest on borrowed fund that is 15 percent we will deduct we will subtract we will less 3 lakh rupees out of 9 lakh rupees that is 6 lakh rupees here we will not deduct subtract any amount because we don't have any debt portion fine so 3 3 lakh will remain 3 lakh and 9 lakh after pay after deducting 3 lakh will become 6 lakh right then next step is less less tax at 40% less tax at 40% now the uh, tax is 40% that is 2 lakh 40000 rupees after deducting this amount from 6 lakh it will become 3 lakh 60000 rupees and it will become 1 lakh 80000 rupees fine finally what we are going to do we are going to calculate the new rate of return on investment the formula of rate of return on investment is equals to for profit after tax upon equity share capital means the total profit we have earned upon the total capital we have multiplied by 100 fine so that will come as 36% and it will come as 18% fine so the higher rate of return on investment is higher in company a a limited fine so that is considered as 